mission of the district and promote the mission of the district. The mission of the district is to provide in a manner responsive to the district customers, of which I'm one. I'm a customer of the district and I'm a rate payer. And I get really crappy, I'm sorry, bad customer service. I've got really bad performance, the pressure uh, at my house. I can't take a shower and water my lawn at the same time. It's been that way for some time. I've been waiting for something to be done about it. I've lived here for 12 years. I'm waiting for something to be done about it. Nothing's happening. In fact, it looks like it's getting worse. Five years ago, the, the California Department of Public Health cited this district for a lack of performance. They, they're not conforming to federal water standards. That was five years ago. The goals of the district, supply water to existing and future customers in a cost-effective manner while operating the district in a financially sound manner. Supply water to existing and future customers in a cost-effective manner while operating the district in a financially sound manner. Just my opinion, but as a customer, I'm giving you an F. The, the board directors that are here, I'm giving you an F, personally. Can I'm I glad you came by. No, you no. can't. I've got the floor. Thank you. <laughs> B, construct. Your goals are I'm out sorry. of date. We just revised the policy manual. You took the second one out. So when you get failing performance grades, you wipe them out and make them go away. Oh. But I'm going to hold you responsible for it. You're accountable, and you haven't done your job. B, the one you removed in June. B, <laughs> B, the one you removed in June was construct a distribution system serving the entire district, which is adequately sized and loop. And you remove this June the 13th in a resolution 2012-13, and you voted for that, Vivian. Thanks for coming. C, maintain existing wells and storage in a manner that meets generally accepted water work standards and develop new wells and storage to meet peak flows and demand. And so you've got really low pressure. There's a, built, there's a moratorium. You can't connect to the, the system. I give you an F. That's an F on C. D is establish a responsive and cordial relationship with customers that include effective communications and notification regarding the affairs of the district and operations of the district. I looked all over the website trying to find this capital improvement plan that would tell me when the wells 15, 16, and 17 would be done and when all of the other things that were uh, identified in the water plan were suggested be done. I look, them, I look on the website, I can't find a thing, and I'm thinking, gee, if they were doing all these good things, I would think they would want to promote it and tell us what they're doing, but I can't find anything. So I, I give an F on, uh, on this also. E, complete and maintain a long-range plan for the water system. Again, if you had one, I would think you'd have it on your website. So, where is it? I don't know. F, develop and maintain written policies and procedures and specifications. Okay, well, here they are. But what good have they done? Because you haven't done any of them. I give you F. H, participate in interagency cooperate. I'm sorry, G, establish a fiscally sound equipment replacement fund. I'm very familiar with that. Uh, I, I do preventative maintenance, five-year capital outlay plans. Where's the fund that replaces all the pipes that are in the ground now? Dylan spent it in September of 2008. Okay, and that was four years ago. You get an F now, because you should have came up with something in four years to replace that, and you didn't do it, and you're the director, and you're responsible for it. You get an F. Oh, Participate in interagency cooperation in a manner that encourages respect between agencies, including such cooperative activities as development of alternative alternative water supplies. That would be like uh, surface water connection. That I think a surface water connection will stop. Am I right? How much history have you studied Am on I this right? district? 
And yes, it was stopped because there was no water in it. So it there's no, the so there's no alternative. Bucks. We have there's no alternative water back. supply. You I give you an F. I've, I've done a little bit of research, Vivian. You haven't done much. I develop and implement an effective water conservation program. You haven't done much. So I haven't seen a water conservation program. I guess there's one in the works. Where were you 12 years ago? But it hasn't come out yet. Where were you 12 years ago? So I'm giving the, the directors an F, and I'm not the only one. I've talked to many, many people in the street, and they all feel the same way. That the, the district hasn't done its job, regardless of whether I call you the, the Hatfields and McCoys. You're, you're either you're in or you're out, you're on the majority, you're, on the, you're in the minority, but regardless of where you are, nothing gets done. You're ineffective, you've mismanaged things, and you need to be replaced. So I would like to take all of that history and just wipe the slate clean oh, and not really talk nice. anymore about it, and then move nice. on. That and so really that's nice. why I'm running. Thank you for coming. I appreciate your vote. I have so much Thank you. <clears throat> you ask where the wells are? This Johnson, person right this here is stopped not your drinking. Do we have to listen to you? No. She is a liar. No. If I've ever seen one. We need to listen to you. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go to my table. I've asked the other candidates to make their statement. They've got a few minutes if they want to. Then you're welcome to come talk to me. So this is our candidate forum. We thank you for coming. We welcome you to be here. And we yes, we welcome you to be here. So and and if you'll listen to everybody and be cordial and respectful. Then we will all get along here. It applies to you as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. It applies to you as well. It can be a lot of accusations that are unbalanced. That, that my opinion well, I can go to a, a meeting and listen to this. Yeah, hold on, hold on. This is not going to be an argument here. That I'm a rape parent and I'm entitled to my opinion. I gave it. If you agree with me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Wayne Anderson. I currently serve on the board of directors for the Park District. I'm a teacher by trade. I have the opportunity of owning the tea shop downtown and the music studio called Music Partners. Take those bottles and give them to her. Those are my cases that I put them in so I can transport them. Yeah. Over these last four years that I've been involved with public service, I've learned a lot. There's a lot to learn, but I've learned a lot serving on the board of directors uh, over at the park district. I've learned how the meetings are supposed to be conducted. I've learned that board members need to come prepared. I had an opportunity to serve as chairman for a year, um, and I asked immediately that the board, all board members, come prepared to discuss as succinctly as possible all the agendas, all the agenda items. Um, I ask that all the silliness that was going on at the time cease, that discussion between the board and the public, even if they're your old friends that walked in, you know, let's treat this professionally, and we did. Our meetings did not last four or five or six or seven hours. We had important things sometimes, but meetings did last a little bit longer. Budget items. Excuse me, I have to leave. I have to go to a memorial service. Um, I'll be back later. Sorry. All right. So I have attended the meetings I was able to attend of the Water District Board of Directors. My feeling was that the tail was wagging the dog. That's what term kept coming to my mind. The tail keeps wagging the dog. That was a meeting of the Board of Directors. Not a meeting of the free for all Hatfield McCoy concept. You know, the meeting is for the board of directors. It is a board of directors for a public agency, therefore, the public is invited to attend. The public is uh, invited at certain points in the meeting to uh, voice their opinions. 
uh, I was not able personally to stay very long and watch the nitpicking and the micromanagement and the arguments and the call outs from the audience and the negative responses from behind the table, all this going on back and forth. I said, I can't, I can't watch this, so I couldn't believe. Well, over these last few years, I've only done that a few times, where I've made some time in my schedule to come on over and watch that. And I thought, you know what, this is an important issue. Water is far more important than parks and recreation. I think parks and recreation are important to a community, but water is survival, okay? Um, we are ratepayers. I live right down on 10th Street, um, not far from Mary, actually, um, sort of around the corner neighbors from each other. I'm on the water system. I personally don't like to see rates go up. Everything's gone up. Everything. Our food costs more to buy. I can't even go buy a hamburger anymore without paying twice as much as I did just last year. So it's Nobody likes to do that, but in some cases, we have to do what we have to do. Water is essential. We should not, we should not be paid more than we have to. We should not be paid for services that are not necessarily, that are not necessary. And I think that's happening right now. So we as a future board of directors, we discuss what we would try to do if we were all elected as a block. It's important to us to oversee the monies, the ratepayers' money. We all pay into that system for a service and for a quantity and for a quality of not just service but water. And we also expect a certain amount of professionalism from those who work in the water district, both in service and in administration. We also expect a certain thing, and for those of us who are involved and concerned with our community, we expect the board members also to be professional and to treat the public with respect, and each other, for that matter. Um, I understand that five people sit on a board are all going to think differently, we come from different backgrounds, we have different strengths, we have things that are important to us that are particular, peculiar to us, and uh, we are going to disagree from time to time. That just happens with people, we have different ideas. But it needs to be civil, it needs to be under control, and same thing with the audience. And we've had, un unfortunately, for a long, long time now, uh, a lot of this bantering back and forth, which makes it untenable, it makes it uncomfortable. And for some people, they say it's a uh, stressful work environment, and they would be right. Um, I am su surprised that the employees of the water district have stuck around so long. I think I would have moved on a long time earlier. Is that they have noticed about Rio Linda employees? We have employees over at the uh, park district it's not a union, um, they're not union members, but I'm surprised that they stick around. They stick around, they are proud of their community, they want to work here, they like working here. I don't blame them, you know, stay here in town if you can and work out of your backyard practically. However, um, it's making it very difficult over the last, I don't know, long time, eight years, 10 years, 12 years. Some people I've talked to say it's been 80 years. So, it has been. Okay, so it's been difficult. Um, I don't know what we can do. I hope we can do something. I hope we can at least start at the point where we can talk to each other and intelligently, that we come prepared to our meetings of the board of director, that we do listen to our constituency, because we represent you, that we do uh, that we are transparent in our reporting so that you know what's going on, both with uh, rates, funds, expenditures. It is our ratepayers' money being used, so we have a right to know that on a regular basis. Um, are we going to be able to solve all problems? I doubt it. Can we solve some? I hope. <laughs> I certainly hope so. That's why we're running. Um, people have told me, a lot of people have told me, you're crazy to run for that board. And, and I, maybe I am, maybe I am, but I, I feel like it's an important enough thing. I think we're all at the verge of losing control of our own water district here in town to another entity outside. I know that there are conversations to that effect. I know that they've been, uh, some of them have been open conversations in Lafco downtown. And I've been at those meetings and heard those discussions. I really think we already have our 
our little entity here. We only have two left. We don't have a fire district any longer. So we have our park board and we have our water board. Let's keep those. Let's keep hold of those. Let's do everything we can. I feel very strongly that as a board member, I need to represent everybody. Everybody. You've got an issue. Most people don't have issues, or if they do, they don't talk to anybody about it, except maybe a, across the table at dinner, you know? But some people do come to these meetings, some people write letters, some people write emails, and they want to know. Well, in that case, you want to be one of those people that you let know. And then I can represent you. I may not agree with you, but at least I can represent, at least I can find out, you know, from our general manager on your behalf, where I can, what needs to be done to fix whatever your concerns. So let me do that and appreciate your vote on November 6th along with these other three fine gentlemen. Thank you very much. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Can I ask questions? Um, across the table? Why don't yeah. we do that yeah. so everybody has a chance to do the phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Ask individual questions? Yeah, yeah after, after, after. To the tables. So we're here for four hours. Okay. Yeah. So we'll be here for you. Do you want to say something? I think Mr. Green and I are going to wait a little later. People are going to be coming. People are going to okay. be going. So okay. we'll hit some of the later. We'll give a couple candidate statements later. Hit some of the other people that have, maybe aren't here now, but come a little later. So okay. good idea. You know, we got we have to spread this out a bit. Are you okay with that? Oh yeah. Uh, Ms. Harris, come on by. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he wants you to ask him questions. Oh, okay. Well, well I heard come you on. say what you were going to do first. I think they just oh, we'll go over here to uh, table. You weren't listening. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Go over here to Dwayne's <laughs> table if you've got a question for him. Oh, oh well, is that how you do it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, which is, we've got to be here for a while. Let's, we got to make it last. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Anybody have any questions for me? Table? You'll come pick me up, baby? <laughs> sure. There you go. Sure. <laughs> I don't like them. Well, I don't like them. But I should have been expecting that. What kind of people? What did you say about it? Oh, I know. I did it. 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 I